Once you've attached the thread to the hook shank just behind the bead, you're going to bring in the two antenna fibers. It helps to moisten these with your mouth to get them to stick together. You're going to slide them through the hole in the bead, trying to keep them on the top of the hook shank, and attach those with several firm wraps. Lift up, snip off the excess in the back. Then I'm going to come in, I'm going to put my thumb right behind the bead here, and I'm going to grab each one of the antennas, and I'm just going to give it a little tug out to the side to get them to kind of splay out. Once I have that, I'll come in, I'm going to snip them. As I'm tying in this tail, I want to pay attention to proportions. I want the amount of the tail that's actually going to extend behind the body to be roughly equivalent to the length of the hook shank. So I'm going to catch it there at or just behind the hook point. I'm going to work this thread back and down the hook bend. I want to take wraps down to where the shank actually starts to bend and point down perpendicular to the nose of my vise. Once I've reached that point, I'll return my wraps back up to the front. For the rear of this fly, for the abdomen, my index point is roughly this hook point. Everything that I'm going to construct and build, I want to happen at or behind that. So simply lift up, snipped off the excess there, put a wrap or two over it. Now I'm going to bring in the stripped peacock quill and the small silver wire at the same time. We're going to tie those in together. My general target area is that I'm going to secure these uh, along the far side of the hook shank with just a wrap or two. You can see I have a little bit extended out the front there. So I'm going to catch those with a couple wraps. I'm going to pull the excess back. And then as I wrap this, I want to try to kind of work that wire and uh, a quill over to the far side of the hook shank. And I'm going to smoothly come back up over the top of all that. I'm going to wrap the quill first and very simply I'm just laying down side by side wraps creating that nice cool segmented look with the quill body. Once I get here I'm going to take a wrap or two past where I need to be and then I'm going to wrap back over that quill. Uh, those quills have a tendency to be brittle if you don't cover them I'll hold them down with a few solid wraps so it'll unravel on you. Once I have that secured go ahead and snip that. I come forward now with the silver wire that's going to be the ribbon. Once I get up to my index point, I'm going to secure that with a few firm wraps and then helicopter off the excess. I'm going to apply just a little bit of tack to the thread here with some loon swax. Now we're going to bring in the PMD super fine dubbing, keeping in mind that as with most dubbing and most dubbing situations that less is more. Just going to pluck those sparse fibers from the outside. And I do want the thread right behind the bead. I'm actually going to start at the front and I'm going to wrap backwards to build up that thorax as we go. Once I have that created, I'm going to start to lay down firm wraps right behind the bead and just slowly working my way back. I'm going to go a little bit past our index point that we had set up for the abdomen and then start to work my way back forward again. And I want to run out right about there in the middle of the thorax. Now I'm going to bring in the rubber legs and as far as length and proportions on these I want the forward and rear extending portions of these legs to be about the length of the abdomen. I'm going to secure it in there with the wrap or two, jockey it around a little bit to get it to where I want it and snip it off at the desired length. Then I'm going to repeat that process on the near side of the hook. Once I have the legs secured, I'm going to add a little bit more tack and a little bit more super fine dubbing to the thread. Once I have that rope created, I'm going to begin just in between the legs, applying firm pressure to my wraps. My goal in between the legs, if I look at this, I'm trying to cover up my dark thread wraps just to provide it with a more uniform coloration. Once I fill that gap, I'm going to reach forward and just gently pull the rubber legs back. I'm going to come in front of it here, and I want to build this dubbing up firmly right behind the bead. It's going to come into play as I finish this fly. 
Now I'm going to bring in my thin skin and I've pre-notched this. I've come in with the tips of my scissors. I've cut a general triangle into it and then snipped off the extending points uh, that would be left kind of on the outside of a V if you picture it that way. When I tie this in, I want the very points of this wing bud to extend back right to or just a little bit past the thorax. I'm just going to trap that with my thumb and secure it with the firm wrapper too. I can tell that I've packed my dubbing in there firmly enough because this wing case lays uh, a little bit more flat. If I'm too loose or sparse with the dubbing right here, this wing case will actually splay or it'll stick up. Now I want to bring in the pearl flash and I'm going to extend this past the bead, past the front of the fly, just to catch it with the wrapper too. Once I have it caught, I'm going to take that excess out front, I'm going to fold it back and I want to create this in a little bit of a V fashion on the top of the fly. So secure it with one or two wraps. I'm going to come in now, I'm going to snip that flash just a little bit shorter than the wing case. Throw it on one more firm wrap on top of that thin skin. I'm just going to come right across the top of it with the tips of my scissors. And I'm going to trim that nice and close to the bead. Put in one or two more wraps. And I'm just going to come in because of the way the fly is finished. I'm going to throw in a couple quick half itches and snip the thread. I want to be gentle coming up the abdomen here and spread this out nicely. I don't want it huge, I don't want it goopy. Just want a nice little bit of sheen on the back of the fly. And then I am gonna build up that wing case. Give it a little bit of a, a lumped or humped up appearance.